Remind me. Well, can I say hi in the beginning? Is that weird? Uh, well, on January 29th, uh, Donald Trump issued an executive order which was effectively a Muslim ban where he chose to pick on people that come from countries, Muslim countries. As a result, we had elderly people, we had children, infants being detained, treated in ways that are not reflective, not just of American values, but of any sense of human values. Muslims and non-Muslims felt compelled to go straight to their airports and to really rally to save what this country is supposed to be about. I stood next to thousands of diverse, beautiful faces in a crowd protesting for my rights. What I saw on January 29th was people of different faiths, people of different ethnicities coming together. People of consciousness. It didn't matter the faith, it didn't matter the ethnic background. There's something that you have to admire about this country, and that thing is, um, is when you see people speak out against it's any act of injustice. You saw people from all walks of life, really. They came out to support the Muslims. They came out because they felt that there was, uh, there was an act of injustice and they wanted to speak out against it. I've never felt such emotion as when I went to the march on DC with my fellow Americans. I walked into the airport for the first time feeling welcomed, seeing smiling faces. I wasn't wondering how I'm gonna have to act at security or how many smiles I have to give to people to make them feel comfortable. People were comforting me and that felt amazing. All the Muslims that were praying in the protest and all the people around them that were supporting them and protecting them. Creating a shield so that we could pray. We prayed in congregation and, and my, my African American brothers and sisters, my Jewish brothers and sisters, my Latino Latina brothers and sisters, Christian brothers and sisters stood and protected us. That was, that just, it really touched my heart. Because of you guys, we are not scared. We are not alone. We are not separate. Sometimes life will squeeze us and what comes out of us will define us as a person, as a, as a people. And on January 29th, we were squeezed. And what came out of us was a lot of greatness. The Muslim community being marginalized is not an excuse for the Muslim community to not stand with others that are being marginalized. I want you to know, because you held it down for me, there's never going to be a time where I won't hold it down for you. As Muslims, we're taught that we are supposed to stand for justice for everyone. As a Muslim, from the bottom of my heart, I want to just thank you for your support. Thank you for the time you spent in the airports, the marches that you did all over the country. I am forever going to be talking about this to future generations and family and supporting everyone just as much as they supported us on that day because we are all one American family. We are one American family. One American family. One American family. We are one. 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 American family. One American family. One American family. One American family. One, one American family. Are we good? Does that work or no? I'm gonna do it again. That's fine.